Okay guys, let's talk about advertising budgeting. Advertising budgeting is essential for any marketing plan that you have in place. For example, let's say we are in a, a slow season or we are in a recession. What to do first? People start calling and advertising. This is a big mistake. Why? Let's put an example. JCPenney. JCPenney is calling 140 stores, closing 140 stores nationwide. Why? In 2015, they cut 26.5% in the in the advertising budget. So that means, uh, if we put it in perspective, you cut in new money, you stop receiving new money, and you stop receiving new customers. Plus, if we are in a recession or we are in a contraction season, new uh, your current clientele is not going to spend as much as they are in a good season, right? So you had two factors going on in the industry and in your business. No new, no new business, no new money, plus your current clientele is not going to spend as much as they used to spend. So you have to make sure that always have an advertising bank. What that means? Always keep an extra percentage uh, of your gross sales for your advertising for a slow season. Why? Because you want to take advantage in those slow seasons. Why? Your, your competitors, they're going to start doing the same. They're going to cut. They're going to retreat. They're going, they're going to hold back. You know, the effort to gain new business is when you have to come over. Now, the media, they understand it. So you have better chances to get a better deal in a slow season. So uh, better deals in a slow season in advertising. Plus, your competitors are out, you know, with fear of spending their money and uh, it's a good start it's a good technique to uh, when the slow seasons arrive uh, have enough money to advertise in those seasons if you need more advertising tips advertising budgeting tips tweet me 1111 media i'll be there and i'll be answering